Ladies, gentlemen, one and all, welcome to Treepeng 2. A game which... Well, I was... I was keeping an eye on, then I sort of lost track, and then it came out, and then I just played through the whole game. I was going to do, um... Well, technically I still am, doing a, uh, one of those A Quick Look At videos. And this will technically be part of that series, but uh, yes, unfortunately, I have played through the entire game, and there is only one save slot, and I am not deleting my save. So, uh, yeah, we're just going to have to make do with that. That's why I'm sort of keeping my head down, and uh, yeah, I'm trying to keep spoilers to a minimum. Um, so, what is Tree Peng 2? Well, a Tree, Peng, Tree Peng 2 is a shooter, as you could probably tell. A first-person shooter that is very heavily inspired by fear. For example, you can slide. Wee. You can do like air kicks and stuff like that. You can do slow mo, which I can't show you at the moment because I don't actually have any in the bar. And you can also do the crisis stealth thing. But uh, yeah, that's. Um, I don't know. So, yeah. That's what this game is. And I might as well show some of it off today because it is very fun. A very short campaign, though. Uh, I say very short. It's like I got it done in about seven hours, and that was with a lot of deaths. So, yeah. We'll, uh,. Yeah, no. I did do all the side missions. There were a couple of um, targets that I missed, and a lot of the lore and stuff that I missed, like intel. But eh, the fuck was that? Um, I don't know. So we're gonna do the first mission, and uh, because I have played this game. Let's play on extreme mode. Expert mastery of the game's mechanics and exploits are required to play on this difficulty. And yet I have actually beaten it on extreme. Now uh, I... Okay, let's go very hard. We'll go very hard because um, obviously I'm recording, so some of my brain power is going to be taken by commentating. So that's that's going to be my excuse for that one. I have completed it on, on extreme, though. You can see that. Uh, I feel there's something I'm missing. I was meant to say something and I couldn't. Oh, I forgot. I don't know. Boom. Loading screen is a duke. And this is how we're first introduced to the game. Tree Bank Studios and Team 17 present Nature. Just me, is very quiet. Oh, there we go. This tree peng two. Or tree pang two. Why do I call it tree peng? It's pang, isn't it? You shot my TV, you bastard! I mean, 
That is at least a 50 inch plasma screen TV, you dick. Yeah, alright. So yes, we are this person. And we... are... here, in a cell, watching TV. Hang on a minute. Well, that looks weird. That's not the reflection that should be there. Intentional? Or not? I can never tell with this game. Their status is dead. Yeah, I have actually already recorded this. Operation Bright Star, you say? Yes, I have actually uh, recorded this already. It's um, unfortunately. Yes, we are subject to 106. Sneaking. Yeah, unfortunately, the sound balancing with my um, previous attempt was uh, a little bit out of whack. So, uh, as in, you couldn't actually hear me. Around the corner, let's go. Most of the time. So, hopefully, it's a little better now. Keyword being hopefully. Okay, then go. On. I was adjusting my microphone position. Run. There we're coming. Oh, balls. That was close. I've run through this a few times, so I do know where I'm going. Whee! Oh yeah, and this game is very dark, by the way. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a thing. Also, flashing lights. Shit, I didn't give the flashing light warning at the start. I did in the last recording, but uh, I forgot about it. I forgot about it here. Put it in a title, so hopefully that's enough. Security station is very much deceased. All units be advised, security station is not responding. Control, this is Echo 2. Should we go investigate? Negative Echo 2. You need to pull back and regroup with your team. Out. So, one thing of note. You move the corpses around. It sounds very much like fear. Like, I think that's a similar, if not the same, uh, sound effect. Up we go, up we go, up we go, and boop. Jump in melee to do a powerful kick attack, like that. Um, this is Echo 2. We can't find Subject 106 anywhere. Hang on. Roger that, Echo 2. You need to expand. Search. Ah. I don't remember missing that. Although, if I missed it, then I suppose that, uh, yes, I would not. What's with the red and blue and red reflections? Do -do 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 -do. Right. Soon we will get to combat. Actually, can I slay into the vents? I've never actually tried this. Yes, I can. <laughs> Excellent. Control, this is Foxtrot Actual. We're checking a maintenance tunnel now. 
careful, enemies can see your flashlight. Yes, they can. Guys, nothing here. All right, stay behind and cover this entrance. Man, copy that. And then they will despawn. And I can do boop and boop. Well, they won't despawn, they'll be in the other room over there, but, uh, yes. And uh, something you do not actually have in the start of the game, uh, but I am doing this because, or I do because you can replay. Uh, previous missions. You can dual wield. Like I said, at the start of the game you can't actually do this, uh, that's a power you unlock at a later date, but you know what, screw it, if I have the opportunity, I shall. go. Where did he go? That was concerning. There's one there. Now, one thing that, uh, he doesn't irritate me as such, but I'm not a fan of is the fact that you don't actually have a lean function. Like, you can't... You can't lean. So, uh, so, peeking around corners when you're trying to do stealth is a lot more difficult. I don't know, I just... I feel like a lean function would have been, uh, would have been quite... quite good to have. auto save. Oh, balls! Heat cloak. Yes, indeed. Now, what you can do. Cloak does not actually last that long. There is a cheat to um, enable infinite cloak, which I have unlocked because I have extreme mode, but I am not going to turn it on. Yeah, now you can actually sneak around these folks. Rather than take them all out. And quite frankly, I think I might actually do so. Uh, this might be a problem. Yep, that's... nope, it's fine. Luckily, those two are just going to stay there. They're not actually going to do anything. Yeah. Don't mind me. <coughs> Ugh, God. Suddenly coughing. And now, everyone's favorite bit of fear the shotgun. So, the next room, there are some mooks. Do you just back away? Contact oh, this, this went well. Right. Yep, you can also do this. You can take hostages. Boom. 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 Such beautiful carnage. That room. I got all of them. All right. Anyone else? Time to go out. Auto saving. Oh, I know this bit. There is a shield bearer in here. So I want to take him out first with the cloak, if possible, and then... There he is. Contact. Yep. And where's the other guy? Yes, there doesn't seem to be a... 
How the hell did you survive? Um, there doesn't actually seem to be a duration of how long you can hold someone for. You seem to be able to hold them indefinitely. I don't know. Uh, I could dual wheel shotguns. I don't see why not. Coming back to this level and uh, going through it again with all your powers and stuff unlocked. Yeah, that's a little bit of a power fantasy. Although it is still quite difficult on the higher difficulties. Like extreme yesterday was, uh, it was interesting, let's put it that way. And uh, of these people are dead. Kick. Helpful. Whee. Hello there. A coin with the Illuminati symbol on it. And our man knows him. Yeah. You, you, you find out why later. It's it's a spoiler. I'm not saying. You know what? The pistol. Actually, bring him in here. Snap. Now, is this guy going to notice if I... Yep, he is. Hit him in the head, please. Yep, the headshots are basically instant kills. Oh, let's got a helmet on. Ooh. Boink. Oh, the fin saved him. Um... Okay. Please cease your partying. This is not the time. There we go. We have saved that man from a terrible fate. Whee. <laughs> oh, I love physics. There's something funny about the uh, the computers in this. Well, you say that. Out. I'm not over there anymore, so screw you. Arriving shortly. Okay. His arm is now stuck in the elevator. No, it's not. It's fine. Uh, do I still have shotguns and pistols? Uh, yeah, I'll stick with them for now. Uh, where's the button? There it is. Doodles, suckers! Ooh, there. <laughs> These guys are coming up with me. And one, and two, and two, and three, and where's the other one? Another one around somewhere. There he is. He's on the table, so I can't really get get off the get off the table. Yeah, I know. I can't get him. <laughs> there we go. 
Got him eventually. <sighs> that could have gotten worse. Site 14, this is Talon. We're on the way. Talon, eh? Sierra 4 mission report. Right, so yes, we can actually use silence weapons to well, do silence weapon things, I suppose I might as well. And yeah, whenever you dual wield, uh, your pistol will actually take the uh, attachments of whatever you, whatever your primary one was. See if we can take out that shield guy. There he is. See, this is where a lean function would be useful because I'd have to just walk around the corner and potentially get spotted. gonna move. He is gonna move. Over there. I think I saw some balls. Right, you well this one well. Okay, so that could have gone slightly better. Uh, we're pretty much out of shotgun now, so uh, eh, you know what? Actually, we'll take the vector. Why not? So I think it's a vector. It looks like one. That's how I remember it looking from Modern Warfare 2, the original. Right. So unfortunately, I have had, I do have to have my window open because. Um, it's really, really hot here. So uh, you may hear either next door or birds or various other things. Now this bit, I did actually die on a few times yesterday, but I'm at difficulty level down now, so it shouldn't be too problematic. Though I don't have a silencer on my... Uh, on my gun, so... Oh, there's a guy there. I get the feeling he's going to come around the corner and spot me. Oh, hello. Um, <laughs> oh, of course, the grenade went right under that feet. Oh, Ow, I turned on the video performance. Look all that. Could you guys stop throwing grenades? Hello. The hostage. And kill. And run. I've got no ammo. Okay. And kill. A little bit of assault rifle ammo. Health kits. Grab all of this stuff here. Uh, you know what? I'll actually take. Uh, can I go back and grab my other vector? 
They don't actually name specific models in this, they just call it SMG and whatever. So yeah, you also have a crisis style um, weapon attachment system where you can attach and untouch things as you wish once you uh, reach these boxes anyway. So we put a suppressor on it. I've not unlocked the long barrel laser or laser yet, which is strange, which probably tells me that I've missed them somewhere. I have come up to the game. Uh, you know what? I don't actually want any attachments. Uh, although I did attach the surprise to this and then forgot to take it off. Right. So say hello to Talon. They are. They are more elites. So we want to be a little bit careful Grenade then. Grenade out. Whee! And I don't know why I picked up this pistol, but screw it. Uh, where's that? Right, suppress it. I'll take that, thank you. Yeah, they're more elite, and yet they still die like chumps. Although I say that, but they can be really annoying. Get, get around the... Fine. We'll climb over it then. Hello, drone. User identified. Subject 106. Location, Black Site 14. Horizon Corporation. Accessing user memories. Access attempt successful. Uploading. Data package. Subject 105 termination. Upload complete. Incoming message. The cycle begins again. Capture means you will be forced to complete your original mission. Yes, indeed. It's all a conspiracy. Alright. Ah, we're at the end. Good. Attention all units. We have confirmation that subject 106 is in the loading bay. Sierra 1, you need to move in now. HQ squad deployed. Okay, yeah, I'm... This is going to be very, very, very dark. Flag 106! One, they Well, they still spotted me, which is a bit rude. Ow. Uh, you. Go, Got there eventually. Yeah, because uh, in order for me to them to not see me, I'm going to have to get rid of all the lights. God, what the hell was that? They have a shotgun. Oh. Yeah, shotguns. If you get hit with a point blank shot, you're gonna know about it. Oh dear. You know, Control, wouldn't it be better for you to just send everyone in at once, rather than, you know, doing it in waves? Ah. Uh, okay, this might be a problem. Yep, yeah, this is a, this is definitely a problem. Run. Run down. Sleep. Don't know. I'll be checking a minute. Nope, he's not dead. Well, I could have gone better. I really love this. Control is not very happy. Watch my back! I'm moving up! Alright, I'm covering! 
Oh. oh, he died. Wait. And snap. To be a little bit careful because this guy, or these guys, should I say, have a juggernaut. Hit them. And juggernauts freaking hurt. And they are also uh, armored, like very heavily armored. Now, in the normal campaign, you would actually uh, be fighting control here. He uh, does show up. Please die! Please die! No. Oh god, I got shot in the face with a shotgun. God damn it. Yeah, I balls that one up. Again. I think I have to do wave four. No, I don't. Surprise! So that should. Most of them gone. Unless they all got out of the way, of course. Uh, yeah, that juggernaut has a. Uh, that juggernaut has a shotgun. I think so. Nope. You can actually shoot those and they will explode, but. Uh, Uh, I need a shotgun. Best way to do it with juggernauts is a shotgun to the face repeatedly. Where is he? Yes. Boom. 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 There we go. Got him. Little sheets. Alpha 3, watch for friendly fire. 106 is approaching the helipad. Make sure you're back safely. Hello, people. Hold your fire. Get inside the chopper, 106. We're gonna get you out of here. I think you can actually kill these people. I'm not going to, but I think you can. And there we go. First mission. This is Alpha Three moving into the compound. I like Raven. Raven's a good, uh, a good character. Tree Pang Two. And then you would have a cutscene here, but uh, yeah, we're not going to have that because I've, again, already done this. So, what am I going to do for the rest of the half of the video? Well, I might have completed the game, but there is still a horde mode to do. Let's slightly have a look. And that is in the combat simulator here. Oh yes, you do have. You can customize your appearance and all that. I have obviously gone for the uh, the feathered purple because why wouldn't I? But uh, you do have a lot of ones you can unlock. You have to complete missions on certain difficulties in order to do so. So yeah. 
I don't think you actually have a third person mode either, so I'm not overly sure what the... I mean, you can see your legs. So, that's something. And someone's mowing their lawn. That's, uh, or their... Well, their back garden grass, more likely. But, uh... All right. So what one do I want? I've only actually completed Complex on Hard, but I have played a few of these. I didn't win them all, obviously. Office lanes, loading bay, server rooms, the hall, the shard. Two legacy maps that have been left in, because... Well, why wouldn't you? It's extra content. Front yard. Office lanes, why not? Uh, I go through these on Hard, so... It's too hard. Now... This is a very much like, um, so do you remember Modern Warfare 3, where it had all the, uh, these two spawn points there, there's the supplies, oop, let's uh, get behind, grab, kill, boink, kill, kill, summon that, and kill. Point. And kill. Yeah, these kind of maps, it's pretty easy to um, just sort of, you know, go around and bonk people. There's a man down over here! Watch my back! Come on, check your back! Check your... But yeah, it's pretty easy to. Um, I oh no, it was on about Modern Warfare 3, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, so Modern Warfare 3 it was... It replaced zombies. I apparently didn't slide there, which is a bit awkward. Oi! Oh, hello. No. Yeah, so Modern Warfare 3 had a wave survival mode, and uh, this is pretty similar to it. Except, you know, it's a lot more interesting because you have a lot more movement options and all that sort of stuff. Combat's, combat's all fluid. Uh, yeah, I can customize my weapon, but I'm not going to. Let's get over here. Did anyone see? This is how I normally start. Ooh, shotgun. Yes, please. In this kind of environment, I most definitely want one of those. Oh dear, that's a few people. Where are you? I'm definitely not a master of this by any means, as you can probably tell. Just kick it into the corner. Yo, I think I saw some. Yes, you did. I should have shot him first before I did that. That was dangerous. Yeah, point blank face with a shotgun. Like even on a hard, is normally enough to get you down. Oh God, he died. Um, yeah, it's normally enough to actually, if not outright kill you, bring you down to next to no health. So, three, four, five. Oi! You think getting hit with a load of bug shot would hurt, but no, that man toughed it out. Good on him. There's not a lot of time between waves. That is uh, something. But that does mean that it's a nice... Quick-ish mode. Also, I suppose I might as well take this opportunity to say the music in this is just excellent. I love it. Oh, shotgun directly to the penis. 
has to hurt. Oh, his legs gone. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can definitely tell the uh, the fear influences in the combat. Uh, this is wave six, so we've been dropping all. Yeah, that's wave eleven. I think I saw. Saw something over there. Saw something over where though? Hello. Boing. Uh, well, I hit someone. Whee! And... Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, we've got fisticuffs, do we? Okay, that's fine. Do I want to customize this? Uh, yes, I want the unfolded stock. Why I want the unfolded stock? Just in case I decide to go absolutely mental with the... Uh... You can actually fire this quite fast for a shotgun. Uh, I am running out of shotgun shells, though. I'm going to be a little bit careful with that. That's the last. He's here somewhere. There you are. And snap. Excellent. And we do it all again. Oh, wrong one. One. Two. Three. And dead. We'll have to buy some grenades soon. It seems like it would be a bit uh, of a target rich environment for them. Whee! One. I think that other guy survived, but we'll go with it. He's here. He is. And you're not. Boink. Down you go. Alright, let's get some grenades. Uh, no, nope, that's not grenades. Uh, give me frag grenades. I've not got rat bombs. Uh, Kellington Colliery. I don't know which one that is. Very hard difficulty. Yeah, I can call in some uh, allies as well, but uh, <laughs> I'm not going to. Right, let's get those. Uh, I do not want incendiary yet. Why isn't anyone spawning here? Oh, this is, um, yeah, I know what this is. Yeah, this is Talon Squad. Oh. I like him. There we go. Yeah, eventually, you do start meeting nastier enemies. And you do have to be a little bit, uh, why don't I, there we go. Oh, balls, 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 balls. Uh, I want, the laser off, uh, yeah. Oh. 
Okay, we're in trouble now. We're out slow. There we go. Four enemies left. We got him. Here we go. Yeah, this might be a problem. Kill. Bonk. What I should have done is thrown him. But, ah, that would have been. Using. Right, I do believe uh, it's now the juggernaut. So let's grab that. Yes, it is. Uh, don't need a suppressor. Did you? These are that. Yeah, well, this way. I missed completely. Back in action. Got ya. Right. Yeah, those bolt throws are really good for dealing with uh, juggernauts. In fact, you know what? They're also good at dealing with large groups of enemies. Like so. <laughs> Sadly, one of them got away, but eh. Now we get into lead troopers. Please die. Oh, there's a shotgun up. You are not shotgunning me. Alright. There's only one here. Hopefully it's not a juggernaut. Yeah, there's a zombie wave. Okay. It's going to be interesting in this, uh, in this area. Meet the zombies. They are utter, utter gits. And they are also really noisy. Uh, I kind of want a shotgun. Oh, hello. Them. I think I hit everything but him for the first uh, couple of shots there. Give me your shotgun, thank you. You got more than one. One, two, three. Oh. Ceased and desisted. Excellent. Let's go here. Yo, I think I saw something. We got a contact! Me! Oh. We got a name down! Oh, that's a juggernaut. Oh, we're not, we're not going into him. Oh, you can't, you can't roll into juggernauts. Or slide into juggernauts. Let's roll in. Dead. Still dead. Oh, not dead. 
Let's try it, say. Oh, balls! It's like, oh, shit. He is very American. Where's that juggernaut? There he is. Oh, Whee! And boom! Oh dear god. Right. Okay, uh, supplies. Uh, we need a shotgun. Because we're pretty much out of ammo for that. Uh, get the unfolded stock. Physical. Uh, there's, there's another juggernaut. Is he dead? No, nope, not dead. Uh, no, he is dead. Yeah, because he dropped. Drug Lords always drop a med kit on death, so. That's quite useful. Oh, dear God. Point. Point. Very dark in here. It's almost like we destroyed all the lights. Maybe we need to brighten up the place a little bit. Uh, oh, no, no. That one. See you. Oh, balls. On fire with you. So the incendiary ammo does less upfront damage and more damage over time, as you could probably imagine. Also, it gets very noisy. So I apologize in advance if you can't hear me. Now with you. Now with you. Someone there. Wave 80. What the fuck? Pick me up, we got a man! Let's let's let go of him, he's on fire. I should have known better than to use Dragon's Breath at close range right there. Hang on. Never said I'm a gun master. Thank you. Oh, this is a main drip. Boom. See, even if only one bullet hits, they get set on fire, which means that uh, they are out of the action for a couple of minutes while they put out. Well, not minutes. A couple of seconds while they uh, put out the fire. Speaking of grenades, I never actually end up using any of those grenades I brought, did I? Uh, I've got three of those left, so let's refill our bolt launcher. Over there, I think I saw some. Me! Oh, that's a juggernaut. There are two juggernauts. Thank. Shot by something. Is he shooting me even though he was on the ground? Oh no, it might have been him. Uh, is it just me? Or is the music actually getting more intense as the um, as thing goes on? Oh, I broke his armor and set him on fire. Excellent. That seems actually quite effective. 
<laughs> I might have to remember that for uh, actually when I go through campaigns on a hard difficulty. Yeah, I can play the campaign on hard. So let's. No. Do not shoot me with a soft gun. I wish the um, I wish there was like extended loops of these songs. I would quite happily listen to that for quite a while. Next wave is final, so we might as well get my shotgun ammo. Bye bye. So funnily enough. Oh, hello. Yeah, the um, the bolt launcher does actually have a um, penetration version, which, um, well, I'm sure you can guess is basically just the penetrator from here. Oh, to God, no! I am not dying now, not dying now, not dying now. I'm on the world final wave, damn it. Too aggressive. Just need to calm down for a minute. There's four remaining. Penetrator. More accurate. Single fire, non explosive bolts. He's hiding over here. <laughs> oh! I was hoping they would go through his shield. Blat. Come on. There we go. And yes, it does indeed stick them to. It does indeed stick them to walls. Oh, there we go. Combat simulator success. Excellent. And that brings me quite nicely up to an hour, pretty much. Yeah, that was a good fun. So, yeah, I bet... I can't remember if I actually mentioned the specific time it took me to um, finish the campaign, but it took me about 7.1 hours to finish the campaign. Um, and obviously I've got to do all the combat simulators now, so there is, there's a decent amount of content here, and keep in mind, this isn't like a triple A game or anything, this is a, new, this is a small dev team. Can I get there? I can, actually. Ooh. I properly, uh, I use the proper sort of gel stuff that, um, How are you still standing? And how he vanished. <laughs> Sir. Hello. I was not even aware there was a person here, <laughs> to be honest. Um Well yeah. I feel I've had a uh, pretty good time with this game, all things considered. Because it is indeed Incredibly fun. Destroy the monitors. And, of course, I have to go through... Well, I don't have to, but... Uh, I should probably go through all the uh, missions on a higher difficulty. Though, the last mission I found to be exceptionally punishing, even on just hard difficulty. So, um... It was brutal slog, let's put it that way. Is maybe there's like a better way I could have done it, but I don't know. It just felt like the waves were overwhelming. 
while you're trying to um, while you're on a timer well, that's all I'll say about that one so hello nothing to say to me of course not locked but yeah so I do believe that is quite enough for today. So, thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you have enjoyed it. And until next time, I have been Kaldaris. Goodbye.